Pastor Benny Hinn is celebrating 40 years of ministry, taking the gospel to the nations of the world. Look to our precious Jesus today, who saves, heals, delivers, prospers, and blesses. This is your day for a miracle. I have a genius on my program today. <laughs> and this really is your day for a miracle. I'm telling you, listen, amazing Dave Farrow is here. Uh, you made the Guinness World Record, what, twice, right? Twice, yeah, and I still hold the current world record. That's incredible. God has given you a brain like no other I know. Okay, I'm going to show him what I mean. All right. Now, you, you can memorize anything, right? Well, yeah, and, and for the record, I had to memorize 59 decks of playing cards all shuffled together. And in order, oh to, get, in order to get Guinness rules, it gets worse. I'm only allowed to see each card once. So imagine zero repetition of 3,068 cards, numbers, and suits, and I had to recall it all in one go. Okay, I got a deck without, of cards, and I'm going to see. Yeah, I'm, we, I'm, we did I'm this check just before, just before the show. I'm going to I'm I'm check you out on this program. But you, you're going to help our spades. people. huh? First one's the eight of spades. What, what? <laughs> the eight of spades. <laughs> it's the first one. Yeah. Oh, brother. Okay. Uh, <laughs> He's going to help you memorize the Bible. He's going to show you how to memorize the Bible. And strengthen your brain while doing it. What do you mean strengthen your brain? Well, like? by, by doing these techniques on a regular basis, you actually get a stronger memory. There's lots of studies behind this. This is not even, you know, wishful thinking. This, If you do this on a regular basis, you'll get and a stronger And you didn't memory. grow up. I mean, you, you didn't have that when you were born. So <clears throat> no, I, I was diagnosed, you taught yourself how to memorize. I, when, I was, when I was 14 years old, I was diagnosed with ADHD and dyslexia. Wow. And I was in the general classroom. I, had, I, had, uh, I was in the resource room, if people know what that is. Uh, and uh, essentially, I had people tell me, me I was I was stupid all while growing up and I looked I, I became obsessed with trying to figure out how the brain really worked this was before modern neuroscience a lot of what they believed back then about education and learning was complete bunk we know now what what is really working mm. and I've actually been talking about it for a lot longer than the scientists have well but, I'm glad you're you know. back because the last <laughs> time you came the response was overwhelming yeah and people really want to know the Bible and to memorize the Bible and you can help them do it quite easy okay you already uh, All right, told yeah, about the first spades, card. Um, okay, after that should be number the, one. The four of spades is the next one. Then wait, 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 wait. So number one, you know. The eight of spades, yeah. And number two. Four of spades. Wait, wait. I want them out on camera so they'll see. Okay. All right. And number three. Uh, the number, okay. Uh, I'm supposed to go so fast here. Okay. Uh, then after that should be the ten of spades. You got it. Then the three of <laughs> number, diamonds. Wait, wait, wait. Number four, okay. <laughs> the three of diamonds. Okay. And then after that. Yeah. <clears throat> um, after the three of diamonds. We have the uh, six of spades, and then the <laughs> three, amazing. Okay, the and? three of clubs. Wow! Uh, wow! Then the nine of clubs, wow. and the eight of diamonds. Wait, wait, slow, slow down. You're going too fast I, for I've, me. My, bra my brain is okay. Just okay, going here, let's charged. keep here, going. Okay. The next one. Okay. Um, so we have the eight of diamonds. After that should be the ace of hearts, and then the Goodness three gracious. of hearts. Huh? The three of hearts. Wow, uh, wow, wow, And then wow. the king of clubs and the five of hearts. Wait. I memorized two at a time. That's my oh, thing. Oh, that's how you do it. Yeah. Wow. Uh, to, to kind of make it a little easier. And then, okay, after, and that, then? Um, after that should be the two of spades and then the jack Amazing. of clubs. Then the ten of diamonds and the seven of diamonds. And then the nine of spades and the two of hearts. Wait, wait, slow down. Nine of spades, two of hearts. You got so, it? Right here. Your hearts. All right. Yeah, yeah you got um, it. And then the king of diamonds <laughs> and the two of clubs. Wow. Uh, and the five of spades. Wow. The ten of clubs. Wow. The jack of diamonds, the nine of hearts, the uh, six of hearts. And well, slow the, down, man. This is awesome. <laughs> okay. And then after uh, yeah, six? The six of hearts and the uh, ten of hearts. Good. Sorry, the queen of hearts. Sorry. Yeah, I, yeah. Okay. No one's ever told me to slow down before. I'm slow. <laughs> well, because you're going so fast. And then the queen. The so, queen of hearts, yeah. Right. Um, and then after the queen of hearts should be the jack of spades and the Amazing. king of hearts. Amazing. Then uh, two fours. It's the four of diamonds and the four of hearts. Jeez. Then um, should be the, uh, oh, and, two, and two diamonds, the queen of diamonds and then the six of diamonds. Whoa, the you're almost done, brother. Seven, oh, yeah, the, the seven of, well, this is just one deck. Uh, <laughs> the seven of clubs, the, yeah, the seven of clubs and the uh, seven of hearts. Wow. Uh, and are then you, are the you just, okay, you just memorize this. 
Yeah, th this was just before we got on, on the show. We just shuffled Jeez. it up. Um, the Queen of, uh, let's see where we're at, the Seven of Hearts. So the next one should be the Queen of Spades. Uh -huh. And then the Eight of Clubs. Yay. The Nine of Diamonds and the Six of Clubs. And then the Ace of Spades and the Queen of Clubs. And then should be the uh, Two of Diamonds and the Goodness. Seven of Spades. Yeah. The, then there's uh, two fives. It's the Five of Clubs and yep. then the Five of Diamonds. Yep. Then the Ace of Diamonds, the Ten, uh, yeah, the Ten of Hearts. Um, and then to end it off, we have the um, Amazing. Uh, Ace of Clubs, the Jack of Hearts. Um, the four of clubs, the uh, uh, three of spades, mm -hmm. and then the last two should be the king of spades and the eight of hearts. <laughs> he did it! <laughs> how do you? How did you? So, so something like that. this seems impossible. It seems well, like come a on, trick. There's no way I can do that. <laughs> well, okay, how did you do it? Okay, here's, now, here's what you I can tell, tell you. You tell me how to do it myself. Here's okay? what I can tell you, and, and here's here's what I what I. Uh, what I recently told to to uh, a group of elementary students, you know, I told them that your brain has a superpower inside of it. You have this amazing gift, but it only comes out if the right conditions are are in place. Essentially, what do you mean? essentially, we have a sur survival mechanism that can allow us to memorize things without repetition, and it's happened to everybody. I'm sure you've had times where you've had a jingle stuck in your head and you can't forget it. Well, yeah, you know, know, it's just it doesn't happen every day. It happens so rarely we think it's not a real thing. There's actually a mechanism in the brain that we can take control of that does that very thing. So, uh, give you a great example. Say um, you can take hold of it. You can control it. Absolutely. You know, I'll, well, do you want me to give my example for my name? Okay, let's go. Yeah. So my last name is Pharaoh, spelled right. F-A-R-R-O-W. It's like Mia Pharaoh, but tomorrow everyone is going to forget that. But what if in two seconds I could do something that would make sure that you and everybody watching would remember my name <laughs> for? A year or more. Okay. All right. Takes two seconds. What? It's visual. It's interesting. It has to be. So exciting. we remember it's with creative. pictures. That's you, right. Yeah. So my last name is Pharaoh, and for some reason, when I put on this silly hat, everybody remembers my name. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Now, it, now it's silly, but don't let the silliness fool you. There's some actually really powerful neuroscience going on because this is what's creating a neural connection. It connects the my name, which is what the hat is, to my face. I can take this off. It only takes a second to put this on. I can hide this, and for the rest of the day, the month, the I year, I have not forgotten your last name. Since you won't forget it because I, I saw it the last time, and you did the same thing. I think yeah, it was something close. It, we, we did. I think we did it off the air, but it's um, it, it's really powerful. And I, and I tried to avoid it for a while because I wanted to be all super serious. But what I really learned, the more, and I've been doing this for 20 years. I hope I don't look like I've been doing it for 20 years. But my first Guinness record was in 1996, if anyone's doing the math. So I've, I've taught uh, at least uh, 20,000 people face-to-face -face live these techniques. I've taught millions of people worldwide. Uh, and I've gotten so much feedback from people. I finally woke up to the fact that your brain likes the creativity. In fact, that's what it craves. The reason why you can't get that jingle on the radio out of your head is because that's what your brain wants. It wants the, the, the right-brained creative stuff. But we wow. live in a society that punishes that, especially with kids. The most creative parts of kids are punished. What I show people how to do is not punish that, but channel it. Take that ADD creative kid of yours and do a few techniques and tricks that'll channel all of that creative energy okay, like what? into their study. Uh, well, Let's I mean, start. Yeah, okay. no, I, I mean, I've got a great example here. Here's a really great, uh, a great trick that you can do with your kids. I say a trick, but this is actually a neuroscience test that we do in the lab. So say, for example, a doctor comes up to you and just says, hey, memorize this list, you know, uh, and uh, then takes it away and see how many you remember. This is actually called the random sequence test. Neuroscientists do it all the time for people who are afraid they're losing their memory. The average person can remember about five or six things after seeing them only once and then having them removed. Mm. So I can read this list out, I take it away. Most average people would be re remember the first two, maybe the last two, and maybe one that stood out in the middle, something like that. So what you do is you say, okay, let's take a look at this list, and one by one, let's make a little story out of it. Now, that's the most basic way to describe it. Mm. There is obviously more advanced stuff when you're memorizing cards and, and lists and names and things like that. I just want, want to know how did, you, make a story out of how did you do this? How did you memorize Well, actually, you memorize I took... Everything? All these cards. Every one of those cards, I have a code that turns them into an object. 
So I'm actually going to use the exact same technique okay, I'm going to teach you right okay, now. If you know the code, you'll be able to memorize a deck of cards. So we have we have a welcome mat, a marker, a bunch of water, uh, John Wayne, an actor, a uh, Roman helmet, uh, cork, uh, gulls, like seagulls, feet, flippers, coal, and a thistle. So it's just a random list of things, right? Um, so if I had to memorize this, what I want to do is make a story out of it. So I would start off imagining a welcome mat right in front of me, mm. and it's covered in markers. Somebody's like drawing markers all over it. Mm. And of course, I have to wash it off with water, so lukewarm water, and I'm trying to wash it off. Already I've got an image in my head that holds three items. I could repeat this a million times, but that one image holds those three things very easily, and that's how it starts, wow. to, starts to work. So then uh, further on, John... I remember that already. Yeah, so well, just imagine... Well, if, well, I mean, you, you just said it, and it just stuck it already just in my head. It's that, and that, when your I memory works... I see the mat works, being washed, uh, the, being marked and then washed. Wow. And, and when, when your memory works the way it's supposed to, it should be easy. If you're, if you're stressing out, if you're crashing, and, and, and pulling all nighters, it Where does John Wayne come So, in so imagine this? John Wayne is washing the mat. Oh so my this, goodness, So okay. you make a kind of little mental movie, and then, and then acting, well imagine a bunch of actors are acting behind John Wayne, I guess, trying to impress him, right? And all the actors are wearing Roman helmets. So you can think of like that John Wayne movie wow. where he's a Roman helmet. All the Roman helmets, for some reason, are covered in cork. You know, like like for like a dartboard or a corkboard, they're they're made out of cork for some reason. I have no idea, but that's the connection I would make. And we're almost done. You here. came up with that yourself. Cork, uh, cork, and seagulls. I'd imagine seagulls for some reason want to peck at the cork helmets and rip it apart. Now you might think of something else, but this is the image that would pop into my head. And at, with practice, you get your own uh, your own uh, <coughs> associations, right? Um, seagulls. Maybe they have giant feet. Or uh, you know maybe you're, you're tying seagulls to your feet, thinking it'll make you fly, something like that. All I'm doing is making a silly picture between these two. You could come up with one your own. Um, flippers. Imagine you're wearing flippers on your feet and just kind of make that moving picture flow. Um, imagine these flippers are made out of coal instead of something that you would make flippers out of, like. Imagine a, a, a pair of slippers mm -hmm. that are made out of coal. It'd be kind of weird, so I'd remember that. And finally, thistles. So while you're wearing your coal, <laughs> your coal slippers, somebody's beating your feet with thistles. Uh, or you could come up with any one of a million so different ways to make So how do you connect it to the Bible now? How? Well, here is how it connects. Ta-da! So then you sit down with these kids and go, you can remember this list, right? And I could take it away and say, we start off with a welcome mat. What do we do with the mat? We had markers on it. Yeah. We used lukewarm water. Washed and it. who was Washington? John Wayne. Yeah. And then John Wayne had actors behind him. Well, that translates to... And the actors had Roman helmets. Roman helmets. So Matthew for okay. Matt, Mark for markers, Luke for lukewarm water, John for John Wayne, Acts for actors, Romans for the Roman helmets, Corinthians for cork. <laughs> now, now the thing is, okay. you're, you're not, you're not wow. gonna. The, the thing is, you don't have to memorize the whole word Corinthians. It's a little bit of a trick because you're going to know that. You just have to know that's where it's placed. So you only have to remember the core part. So you can yeah, think of sure. of cork, and it works just fine. We do it. We do it in university studies and technical terms all the time. Uh, seagulls for gullations. Yeah. It's a little play on words. Uh, Philippians for flippers. Oh, I, 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 sorry, Ephesians for feet. Fee feet. You know. Um, Philippians for flip flippers, um, and then Colossians for coal, and Thessalonians for thistle. So you've actually, because of the, the doubling up, you've actually memorized, what, 12, 13 things here by memorizing just uh, nine items in a row. But the cool thing is you, you show this to a kid. You try to get them to memorize that, you know, the, the first books of the Bible, first books of the New Testament, and a week later, they're still repeating it over and over and so over. So you've and got the whole program yeah, we've got from a Genesis to Revelation or what? Um, yeah, well, we, we, not every word in the Bible. We have the techniques, and we have about 100 different Bible verses that, that we guide you through, and then any, we should show you how to apply it to your own uh, Bible verses. But more than that, also, uh, I have a technique in there and how to memorize Hebrew and Greek so you can whoa, know whoa, some whoa. Of the translations. How? How do you do that? Well, it's the same sort of, uh, same sort of thing. Like, um, like uh, uh, a great example, uh, Lashon is, uh, is language, you know? Uh, I, it's, in, it's, in, it's in the book. <laughs> um, so, so the association that I made for Lashon and language, you want, you want to go through the book? Well, I'd like to see it. Yeah. I mean, uh, the book comes with these DVDs and CDs. Yeah, we have and three DVDs that. and two CDs. So it's in this little book here. Keep talking to me. Yeah, so uh, essentially we make the same association that I did with the hat. 
You know, you, you take, it's called substitute words. Uh, just like we did with Corinthians and core, you, if you come up with a word that you can't visualize, what we do is we come up with some English okay, word now, that now reminds let's, us of. Let's just go back here. Discover your memory power. So you're saying every one of us has memory power. That's right. How? How do we get it out? How do we release it? Well, the, the, Activate it. The great thing is we always have it. We just have to have the conditions right to use it. And what society, do you mean by, by the conditions right? Well, I mean, th think of everything that sticks in your mind all the time. Think of a, of a silly YouTube video of somebody <laughs> being hit by a tree or something like that, and you never forget it. Think of a commercial you never forget. You always have this power, but because we live in a society that's so uncreative or it really stifles creativity, mm. we tend not to use it. What I show people how to do is actually activate this by using your imagination. In the same way, we have uh, a bunch of great studies actually. Well, that's what I want to talk to you about. Yeah. Is uh, 2013, there was a great study of 2,000 people who were over age 60 when they started the study. Now, this, this was the theory that you can't train your brain until unless you're 20 years old or something like that. Mm. And they thought, you know, once somebody's over age 60, they're so set in their ways they can't do anything. As it turns out, if you do the right kind of mental training, you'll have a, 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 as much as, on average, uh, nine more years of mental acuity in your senior years. And this was even true for people with a genetic predisposition to Alzheimer's. So, wow. Yeah, so like, so they started in their 60s and all, and what the, what the proper memory training is, is to here, memorize brother. and recall. Yeah, and the, there, there was a whole group of people who had genetic predisposition to Alzheimer's, and just by, it's what you do. Your brain likes the exercise. People who are, you know, working for a living, who maybe only have 20 minutes a week to try to exercise their brain or something, this gives them a piece of that. This gives them Think the ability to do Think about people making it. money. Yeah, in, in, or, or, you know, kids that are busy or something. You can sit down for 10 minutes. You can memorize a Bible verse. You'll know it for for as long as you want, but you do this every day, and you'll have a stronger memory. You'll be known of as the person. You listen, always what remembers. you have mm -hmm. isn't just for the Bible. Mm -hmm. What you have is for life. Yeah, absolutely. People can also make something out of their life. Oh my God! Yes, I had I had this one um, uh, really quick. I had this one uh, customer from from last uh, last time I was on. Uh -huh. um, she was a she's a single mom, and her son was getting involved with some gangs. And he's, he's a very young kid. He was like 13, 14. So they were like doing vandalism and stuff. Mm. But she was distraught because she knew that would lead down a very pa dark path. And his grades were going into the toilet. They were terrible. So she she saw this. She, she, she took some of the techniques. And she taught him just this basic list technique. And he was amazed. But you know what? She was really smart. She said, hey, do you think, uh, do you, think you could show me how to apply this to memorizing Bible verses? And every couple of days, so about three times a week, they both sat down and he helped her make the associations, the imagery and everything to memorize Bible verses. You know, after a month, he wasn't hanging out with those gang members anymore. Wow. Uh, he actually said to her, this was this almost wanted to make her cry, but she kept it inside because she wanted to be cool. But uh, he actually said to her, they're not cool anymore. And, wow. and uh, it basically, the other, the other interesting thing was off, out of the blue, he said, hey, mom, you know, this could actually help me in school. And, and she was like, Duh, yeah, that's, that's why I did it. Um, because, yeah, once you strengthen one part of memory, then you have that ability and for And you've seen a lot of people oh. helped. Oh, absolutely. I mean, uh, I mean, I know, I know uh, one girl, I mentioned this last time, uh, her name is Sarah. She's eight years old. No, at the time, she's eight years old. She's older now. But um, I went to her elementary school and taught them uh, times tables. And it was really simple. We just drew pictures, and colors in the pictures correspond to a color code. And so each color means a number, and that's how you memorize your times tables. You basically have a little color wow. code. So you draw a whole bunch of pictures, and all of a sudden, they, they, they knew all their times tables in an afternoon, wow. not a month that's or amazing. two, right? So she, she tugged on the back of my jacket, and I turned around and, and looked down. She looked up at me with the biggest eyeballs you've ever seen in your life, like just, like, it, it, my heart sank just because she looked so adorable. And she said, I'm not stupid. And I, I was almost speechless. I was like, of course you're not stupid. She said, no, 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 I'm not stupid. As if she was just figuring this out now. Yeah. But she was just like me. She had ADD and dyslexia. But all she heard in her head, all her inner voice was saying is, oh, I'm stupid, I'm stupid, I'm stupid, I can't do this. And she was making all sorts of excuses for not trying. Think what you can do for your children. Think what you can do for your grandchildren by getting up this program that's absolutely mm -hmm. amazing. Uh, what do you mean by unleash brain 
plasticity. Well, the way Does it our works, brain <laughs> your brain is plastic, not not plastic plastic, but it's it plastic in the sense that it changes itself based on our exercise. So just like your muscles get bigger uh -huh. if you exercise them, your brain actually gets stronger if you exercise it in the right way, and if you don't, it doesn't. So um, the way we unleash brain plasticity with the Bible Brain Trainer, uh, just commit to trying to And memorize. you only use the Bible Brain Trainer, or do you have other... Uh, I mean, we, I, I have, I have other programs, use, yeah. as you know, but this one is something that's real precious to my heart because all it takes is a few minutes a day. You memorize one Bible verse a day. You review maybe once a week, and after a couple of weeks, uh, you'll, you'll feel sharper. Your memory will be stronger. A couple months later, people report having the memory they had when they were in their 20s. It's just a little bit of exercise that your brain really craves. It wants to learn new things. And, and the whole process, you're getting closer and closer to the Lord. relationship to God. Yeah. And uh, you said it, it helps like to prevent Alzheimer's? Yeah, the studies are very clear on that, uh, that the, the biggest thing, one of the biggest things you can do to uh, prevent Alzheimer's or, or memory loss is to exercise your memory and uh, exercising your memory there it's not all the same if you've seen brain training programs out there a lot of them are being attacked by the scientific community because they're making weird claims the, the simple truth is all that exercising your memory means is to memorize something and recall it. So if you're doing Sudoku, you're only getting better at Sudoku. You're not getting better at anything else. Mm -hmm. But if you're memorizing something, so if you memorize a Bible verse, you're getting better at memory. You know, so every other thing you have to memorize from your grocery list to people's names gets better because you get sharper. So that's really the key to why this works for so many people is they start with the Bible because that's their passion. And then they find that they're sharper, that people give them more respect. So you're the using thing. the Bible to actually help people memorize, and it, not and just the Bible, yeah, but, it, but it's it the perfect actually, thing. It's the perfect thing because it the Bible challenges. Mind, huh? Yeah, and it trains your mind with languages because the Bible is, is a lot of Greek and Latin. Well, I want to ask you about that, with Greek. numbers and also all this imagery, you know, um, all this imagery. Uh, it, I'm looking at incredible. your thing with Greek and Hebrew now. Help me understand that. How do you, how do, do you teach them to remember the Greek words, Hebrew yeah, words? Yeah, absolutely. The same way that I teach people how to memorize, how to say hello in seven languages during my seminars. In order to memorize any new thing, this, wow. is, one of the, this is one of the principles of memory. In order to memorize any new thing, you don't uh, just memorize something in a vacuum. You have to connect it to something you already know or remember. So in other words, when I memorize my last name, when I put that, that hat on, I connected the hat to me because you already know me, Amazing. you just want to tack on the hat. So wow. to memorize a, a foreign language vocabulary, you just want to connect it to its English word or vice versa. Okay, listen, you sweet tongue. people that want this <laughs> amazing it's a very comprehensive program. We have a studio audience in there. We put, put hours and hours of footage into How it. many DVDs uh, and how many there's, CDs? There's here? three DVDs that you go through step by step okay. that give you all the, there's a, there's a seven day jump start in there where you can just get started and, and get some really good momentum. And there's also a training Imagine program. Imagine sitting with your I family, talk, you know, your children with yeah. this, wow. Well, and you also sit down yourself. I talked to you about, about how diet plays into it, about the language technique. You learn all these techniques. And then the two CDs are extra practice. Those are your 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 bonus rounds where where so we go all, through lots of all verses together, of how to memorize you said three DVDs. So there's yeah there's five discs in total. It's five hours worth of content, and it's very jam packed. That should take. I mean we've we've really trimmed out the fat and made it a really good quality okay. program. And then the book with it. The book with it. I mean yeah. Normally this would be a I mean a five six hundred dollar program uh, in my in my usual uh, programs, but this we're, uh, we're to offering offer it, it to you today for only a hundred. Yeah. $100, you can get this incredible Bible brain trainer. Wow. David, you're amazing. You really are amazing. I, you blew me away when you <laughs> knew every one of those cards. And couldn't, you didn't see them, but you knew what were... What was in it? That's amazing, man. Absolutely. Anybody listening to the sound of my voice can do the same thing. You just have to practice. Don't break my record, but you can do <laughs> anything else. Yeah. <laughs> well, call the number on the screen right now and start developing your future and your life. Be blessed. Be blessed. Be blessed in Jesus' name in your today and in your tomorrows. Call on uh, call uh, that number on the, on the screen and get this right away. Hey, I'm going to do this myself, by the way. Yeah. I really am. I'm highly interested. Love you. Keep calling. Bye-bye.
Do you have trouble remembering the simplest things on your daily to-do list or even where you put your car keys? Do you get frustrated in the middle of conversations or business meetings because you just can't remember details? Have you wanted to encourage someone with God's Word but couldn't remember the verse? Then the Bible Brain Trainer Memory Program developed by Dave Farrow, two-time Guinness Book of World Records holder for greatest memory, is for you. I've taught uh, at least uh, 20,000 people face-to-face -face live these techniques. I've taught millions of people worldwide. Ever since I was a little girl, I've told myself I have a horrible memory. I'd be sitting there having a conversation with someone I've known for years and can't for the life of me remember their name. It can be so embarrassing. Now, using the simple methods that Dave teaches, not only has it opened scripture up to me in a whole new way, but it helps me at work and at home as well. With God's Word and the Bible Brain Trainer, the possibilities are limitless. Dave Farrow's Bible Brain Trainer is a complete memory program which includes three DVDs, two CDs, and Dave's personal coaching manual. You'd expect to pay $200, $300, or more for a similarly comprehensive and proven program. But today, through this exclusive offer, available only from Benny Hinn Ministries, you get all these materials for the low gift amount of only $100. So if you memorize a Bible verse, you're getting better at memory, you know? So every other thing you have to memorize from your grocery list to people's names gets better because you get sharper. This amazing offer will enable you and your family to learn skills and techniques from the world record holder for greatest memory in order to easily recall God's word for every situation. Memorize lists and numbers, build study skills for students, improve reading retention, effectively manage your daily life, improve your job performance, and much, much more. If you want to reconnect with your loved ones, grandparents, with grandkids, or anywhere in between, uh, this is a great bridge because you can share with them the Word of God and at the same time share all these exciting, cool mental techniques that can absolutely transform your memory. Dave Farrow's Bible Brain Trainer Memory Program is now available for a limited time through this special This Is Your Day offer for only $100. Learn to train your brain for maximum memory potential. Call now. Prayer cloths have been prepared by ministry staff. Pastor Benny's prayer over them will release an anointing for healing, and they will be mailed to partners as a point of contact to build faith for miracles. I want you to place it on your body when you're sick or somebody that you know who whom you love and needs healing. The part of God has been really strong lately. Blessed Jesus, you declare if two of us will agree Upon touching anything, it shall be done. Now, bless the Lord, these are only cloth. But we pray as each one of them comes upon the bodies of the sick or the afflicted or the oppressed, they'll be delivered. I release the anointing of the Holy Ghost, the anointing on this ministry, the anointing on my life. I release it upon these cloth, Lord. If you are not on the ministry the mailing list, call or go online today to request your prayer Jesus. cloth as a point of contact in to build your faith for miracles. In the name of Jesus, every one of them, Lord, every one of them will feel the mighty part of the Holy Ghost.